Empire Fashion Sewers. In this tutorial, which has been brought about by a request from one of my subscribers at Fashion Sewing Blog TV, they wanted to know how to find the grain lines in your fabric, so that is what this tutorial is going to be about. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Okay, I've got a length of fabric here, uh, which is calico, which is an inexpensive fabric, and with all fabrics you will find a selvage, which is here, and you find it on both ends, there, and the lengthwise grain of the fabric runs straight through the length of your fabric. Now the crosswise grain runs that way. Now the crosswise grain has a little bit of stretch, as you can see there, and the lengthwise grain has very little, hardly any. And the next grain that you find in your fabric is the bias grain. Now that is where you're going to find a lot more of your stretching fabric. Now just to recap, I've done little um, diagrams here. And um, as you can see, the straight grain, which is the lengthwise grain, also known as the warp, and the crosswise grain goes that way and that's known as the weft and finally the next grain is the bias grain which is there so there you have it three types of grains ex excluding the selvage um, that you find in your fabrics. Just to make things just a little bit clearer, you may want to bear in mind when you're thinking about grains in fabric, the straight grain, and uh, think of it in terms of the shoulder to the hemline of a garment. That's going to be how your garment hangs on the straight of the grain. And think of the cross grain as the garment that goes around, that kind of forms the shape of the garment. And the bias, this is when you want a beautiful looking garment that covers the contours of your body. So if you're not really liking your body for whatever reasons, you may not want to make your sewing projects on the bias because it will cling to your body because of the stretch. So I hope that makes things a little bit clearer for you. And until my next video, don't forget you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.